now locked into the 18 wheeling podcast hey eastbound you got your ears on about a few miles past that chicken coop around yardstick 324 you got a city kitty taking pictures a podcast for truckers by truckers so sit back hammer down and turn the volume up and remember it's not just a brand it's a lifestyle What's the deal? What's the deal, y'all? This is another episode of the 18 Willing, not podcast, but show. Um, as you see, man, we pushing more and more shows out. It is what it is, man. When I say we, I mean us, the trucking industry, because y'all are here with me. The big question is, why are layoffs happening in the trucking industry? As we see, a lot of companies are going out of business. A lot of companies are going, getting close to going out of business, so... They land off drivers and they selling equipment, man, to kind of recoup the losses that they're dealing with right now. Um, why, though? Like, why are the layoffs happening? So first, we, we have to look at the fuel prices. Rising fuel prices makes trucking more expensive. Everybody know that. The average right now is about $4 and some change, give or take, in some states, you know, it varies on whatever state that you're in. So just look at that, man. Another thing, that's my phone. So, you know, we we recording right now, man. Our attention is on this podcast. We'll answer that later. But another thing is um, a shortage of qualified drivers, which has made it difficult for trucking companies to find and retain workers. It's hard out here, man, for everybody. So companies are putting more um, stipulations on drivers. They putting them through SAP programs when you dropping, um, you know, a, a positive for any of the, the drugs that's listed on the panels. Um, you can see those videos in, on the TikTok or on my YouTube, and I'm explaining what the SAP program is. Um, DOT officers is making it more worse on your DAC report when you're making little simple mistakes out there. So we got to tighten up, man, as drivers, as uh, owner operators, as fleet owners, we got to tighten up out there, man, because it's really putting a strain on the trucking industry as a whole, you know? Another thing um, that we're dealing with out here is the easing of supply chain constraints, which has made the whole demand for trucking decrease yeah you see it every day we are watching it all of this stuff we watching it happen right before our eyes man you know since since we all are in transportation they up the ante on the train tracks if you just pay attention to the train tracks what are y'all seeing on the train tracks more trailers it's more trailers means less loads for us. I'm seeing a lot of trailers being put on the train tracks. You can see hundreds of them. So that's, yeah, that's eliminating a lot of loads and that's just, you know, eliminating a lot of drivers. What they need us for and they can use a train to get all of these loads to want from point A to point B. You know, we watching this stuff happen right before our eyes, man. We got AI, um, Coming up in a couple more years, the Tesla truck coming up in a couple more years. It's just a matter of time where they're not going to need us and everything is going to be flowing well, you know, like a well-oiled machine. Um, Another thing, man, think about this. You as an owner-operator or you drive for a company, right, and your truck break down, right? So 
normally before all of this stuff, you know, um, with us doing business and imports and exports in other countries, we had like, we had our hand on stuff. It was easy to get. Now it's not so easy. Um, your parts are on back order. So you got a business to run, man. How do you supposed to run your business? Better yet, how are you supposed to feed your family? You got parts on back order and they telling you three, four weeks, two, three months. How do you suppose to keep your expenses and, and, and manage them? You can't. You got to run a company, man, and it's hard. So what do we do when one truck is down? What if you only have one truck? That mean that your business is over with? Do that mean that you have to, you know, go into your savings? What, what, what can you do about these issues? This is why we having so many issues with the trucking industry right now. So many issues, man. Um, and, and it is what it is. Uh, you have to downsize. If you have so many trucks that's out there and, and you only making so much amount of money you have, notes on these trucks you're gonna have to double up the driver shit put a a, a team driver in there you know put a, a team a team in, in inside of your truck but we trying y'all but we trying to stay afloat out here and it's just seem like it's getting worse and worse man so this was just a short episode short and sweet for you man some stuff that y'all can think about and you know this is another one man this 18 will and lip if you are following me on YouTube, if you follow me on TikTok, I need you to subscribe. I need you to comment. I need you to reply. Let me know that you exist. Support. Like. Comment. Share. Follow me. Share with your people, man. This 18 Willing Man. This is another one, man. I love y'all. And I'm out of here. <laughs> You've been listening to the 18 Wheeling Podcast. The podcast for truckers by truckers. We got to get on down the road, but you can find us on TikTok and YouTube at the number eight teen willing and on Instagram at Mr. Eight teen willing. Will you be safe out there? When you get her pointed towards the house, you hammer down, come in.